Hey peeps, what's going on? It's my second video and today I'm just going to be telling you a bit about the mercenary. Trying to do a little guide, hopefully it doesn't go on too long. Uh, I see a lot of people in forums and in chats just saying oh, they don't really want to play the mercenary. Maybe because of the difficulty, but it's really fun and once you get used to it, it's a really good class to play. So I'm just going to go through how you unlock the mercenary, what items you should generally try and pick up as you go along in solo and multiplayer. Uh, the abilities the mercenary has, how to use them, uh, any like little combos that you can pull off that look pretty cool, like some ninja. And also the main problem I see is with the bosses and monsters, mainly aerial monsters, because you're melee. Everyone's like, nah, I jibbed it off. I just want to use a gun, shoot things in the air like pop, pop, pop. But nah, swords, mate, that's where it's at. So hopefully this guy can help you a little bit. So anyway, how do you unlock the mercenary? I mentioned in my previous video how to get the mercenary quite quickly. It's really simple, all you got to do is play through the game once, get to the fourth portal and it basically loops you back to the start of the game and you run for it again and when you get to the third stage a text will come up saying the celestial portal is going to spawn once you beat the boss instead of going through the main teleporter a massive portal opens like the uh, portal to the like lunar shop you go through that, there's a little jumping puzzle and that's all there is to it, you complete the jumping puzzle and you get the mercenary, it's pretty easy. I did it with the commando, that's how I got my first character. And yeah, pretty simple. So just quick, I wanna go through a few items that you guys should be picking up through your runs, solo and multiplayer. Uh, obviously, if you are playing multiplayer, taking into consideration other people's builds and what they want, try and share the wealth. Uh, you don't wanna just hog all the items, but these are some of the ones that you should sort of prioritize. Firstly, for me, a backup mag. Now, you only need one or two of these to do all your combos. One's enough, two a bit better. Uh, don't go like me and get 13 in one run, but that was just for fun because I could fly around the map. Uh, it's really good and helps with your combos. Nextly is survivability. Early on, you have a lot of issues because you have a pretty bad health pool and you're melee, so you're always in the fight. So things like an infusion early on really help towards the later stages of the game. And an early foreign fruit can help, you know, just keep you alive in bad moments and if you can get a fuel cell even better you get two heals early on then later on as you further like progress further switch that out for a more damaging item like pre on accumulator or get a primordial cube to draw everyone in and you can just go ham in the middle of them uh so yeah you also want i have a wax quail i've picked up a wax quail before but it's not here because i don't know what achievement it is but that is literally all the maneuverability you need one of them you'll be fine um, if you're playing solo, feel free to get like a goat hoof um, or anything that makes you a bit faster, maybe a red whip. They're not necessary for you or an energy drink. So if you're playing multiplayer, really give them to people that are a bit slower, like engineers and engineers, artificers as well, pretty slow. Um, you don't really need them. If you're playing solo, grab one if you want, but I, it's not necessary. You get prioritize more damage items. Now speaking of damage, you want things that are on kill. You kill things quite easily as a mercenary. So you want things like Ceremonial Dagger, Will of the Wisp, Gasoline. And the main reason for that is you kill things easier than other classes. But other classes have a lot more chance to use things like Stun Grenade. Because on hit uh, items are useful on them because they have a lot more like, chances to hit. Like the commando fires very fast, multi fires very fast, so you want to sort of leave them to other characters, and you just want to kind of focus on on hit, on hit, on kill items. So yeah. And then also, if you can get any, like a frost relic, you're really close to everything anyway. Getting a kill with that, you get free ice schools. Mad item in the first game, good in this game as well. And a tesla coil because. You're going to be in, in the fight anyway, you're going to be around everything and it just fires out lightning all the time. Huge increase to your DPS, great item. And on another note, also yeah, like hard light earth burners, more attacks, more dashes up to 9. I think that's the alien head, reduces your cooldown, great. But remember, everyone wants them sort of items if you're playing multiplayer. Try and share them out, but if you're playing solo, take them all and you'll be smashing the game in no time. So yeah, there's just a few items that I would recommend. Also bandolier. <laughs> you keep doing your ult. But yeah, I'm gonna stop now. Things like so now I just want to go through the moves the mercenary has. Uh innate double jump, 
cybernetic enhancements means that the mercenary can jump twice which is really good the laser sword is your mouse one i don't really know what is on controller because it's mouse and keyboard but it's your primary attack you attack twice and then the third strike is a greater cleave and does more damage uh, it can be used in conjunction with your other moves so as long as you're holding down the mouse button or whatever button it is for that if you time your other moves right you'll also get the attack off from laser sword so whirlwind which is one of your which is the second move which is one of your main damaging moves can be used while you're using laser sword to sort of hit twice uh, whirlwind is like horizontal on the floor but if you're in the air it's a vertical move so it can keep you in the air longer I usually use it when I'm in the air because it's easier to land all the hits when you're on the floor sometimes you sort of wildly spin out and you can miss so I prefer it in the air uh, blinding assault is really good um, it can literally hit aerial targets and kill them pretty much in one hit depending on your difficulty and then you can use it another two times as long as you keep hitting an enemy so you can dash up to three times and just keep hitting enemies with it next is eviscerate eviscerate uh, targets your nearest enemy and does 110 percent damage repeatedly as i'm reading here uh, you're also invulnerable during that duration i'm not sure if more soldier syringes increases the amount of times you attack in that time i haven't tested that yet but i might test that tonight i'll let you know uh, also, as a general rule, Eviscerate can also just be used as a dash if there are no enemies near you. So if you really want to get around the map quickly, you can blind and assault, then Eviscerate to get a lot of distance. Whirlwind also is a bit quicker. So all three of those get you very mobile um, around the map. You can also use Whirlwind to hover you in the air for a bit. Double jump and wait for your other cooldowns to come off, like Eviscerate and Blind and Assault, to keep you in the air a lot longer, making it easier to get hard of hard to reach places you can also blinding assault into an enemy or group of enemies eviscerate and if you're quick enough you can get the other blinding assault cooldown off as well so you can blind an assault dash to an enemy killing them probably eviscerate another enemy or the same enemy and blind an assault out as well so you can do a really quick combination you have to be pretty quick it doesn't always go off but as long as you prepare yourself to do it it should go off. So you can blind the salt, eviscerate, blind the salt out. So this is it. We finally got to it. We're getting to killing things in the air. About to murk some stuff in the air. Wiss up there having a great time. And we're about to kill them. It seems to be the thing that puts people off the most. I don't know why, because it's so fun being in the air. Killing everything in like one shot. And it's really easy. So for wisps and like jellyfish. Uh, blind and assault pretty much kills them in one, especially wisps. So if you've got a load of them in the air, if you if you aim right, you can hit like three, kill them all, go across, kill more. You can kill loads in just one move. And it's really easy. And then you can combo into an eviscerate or a whirlwind or double jump to protect you if you're like falling really far. And then bosses, like I thought jellyfish would be a pain and it, it was to start with, but you can stand on the jellyfish, jellyfish, on um, Wandering Vagrant's head, the boss, the jellyfish boss, Wandering Vagrant. I think that's what it's called. Either way, the big thing in the air with tentacles and that, stand on its head, hit it in the head, pop, 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 or slash, 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 and it's dead. Easy. It's so easy. And then when it does its big build up move, where it's about to like explode, just tap eviscerate, you'll dodge the attack. And you just stay on top of his head and keep hitting it. Easy. Magma worm. Easy. Bang. Dead. All you got to do, eviscerate. That's an easy way of doing it. Uh, it takes a while, but you just keep eviscerating. Eventually it'll die. You take no damage. But the easiest way, if you can aim it right, it takes a bit of practice and it's quite difficult if it's coming down at you. And you just blind and assault through it. You do a mad amount of damage. That thing is dying. It is dropping. That ain't no worm. I don't know what I've said even more. <laughs> uh, stone Golem. Easy as well. Uh, it's not really a problem. You can also stand on his back. That I learned the other day. Don't know why you want to do that. 
But yeah, if it uses its B move, eviscerate, dodge it. Keep going on about your your slashing, fine. Honestly, things in the air, they're not a problem for a mercenary. A bit of practice, you'll be great. You'll be smashing them out in no time, doing monsoon runs, 9,000 minutes, boom. Big check. <laughs> but yeah, there yeah, guys. <laughs> Hopefully this guide has helped in some way. I really enjoy playing the mercenary. Definitely the character I've played the most so far and did in the first game as well. This was a rush guide. I would like to do more or a bigger guide, but sort of ran out of time. And also, I don't really know how to do this. Editing thing and all that. So it's a bit of a mismatch. But hopefully, you, as long as you've got a few pointers out of it that are going to help and make you want to play it more, then my job is done. Uh, anyway, guys... See you soon, hopefully, in good health.